So I've been in the industry for God, 17, nearly 17 years now. So I uh, walked around a department store, fell over a bottle of tanning mousse when I was like 12 and realised I wanted to get into tanning. So I actually I used to use history. I used to use tanning wipes actually as a kid, like then you know them tan towels you used to get in like the, um, so I used to use those and so I love tanning and I remember I used to, when I first started using them, I was about 12 and I forgot to wash my hands. So I used to go to school with like kind of loads of orange hands. Right? Like, it was the worst. But, <laughs> Um, and then worked on my worked with loads of tanning brands around the world, from like L'Oreal to, um, to Central Bay, and then worked with celebrities from the beginning of their careers, like Lady Gaga, um, you know, Jesse J, Ellie Golding, Rosie Hampton Whiteley, worked with Mariah Carey, um, to then um, launching sounds in like, really cool hotels, uh, but the Harvey Nichols in London. And then my tan brand, which was developed eight years ago, um, and was the first ever concept of self tan and skincare combined. So it was about a product that treated your skin, but cared for your skin at the same time. And was there like a light bulb? And tanned moment? you as well. And tanned you as well. Was there a light bulb moment with that then? Was there like one particular occasion where I thought, right, this is what I need to, this is what I need to create. There's a, there's a gap here. We're missing something. Yeah, so I used to wear them like kind of hydrating masks, mm -hmm. um, and you only meant to leave them for 20 minutes, but I do it for like about. Like five hours. Eight hours because I wore it to bed. And I kind of like had this thought where no one's actually done one that was an overnight mask that you wore to bed that tanned you but it didn't transfer your bed, it didn't smell, it was super hydrating, super nourishing. And it's um, like it's exactly. great power. But didn't, you didn't, it doesn't highlight pigmentation, it doesn't block your pores, but you get the most beautiful tan and it's natural. Um, and that's where the sleep mask turns. Sort of. And then it kind of started that whole trend because now everyone does sleep masks or everyone concentrates on like self tans for the, for the face for us, whereas before they didn't. Yeah. Yeah, so your range is built around the face first and then, and then the body kind of, kind of yeah and I think it's about looking after your skin and I'm like the first thing you always want to look good is your face. Okay, so you do a lot of events as well. Have you done anything recently? Have you got any stories? Any gossip? <laughs> yeah, so we did the Royal Wedding, we actually tanned a few of the, a few of the guests for the Royal Wedding this year and um, also the Oscars, we did the Oscars. So to me it's about the skin looking real, elegant, natural. Um, I want people's tan to work as a background colour to complement the whole look rather than overpowering your dress, your hair, your makeup. Um, you don't want people to think, oh my god, what self tan are you wearing? You want people to think you look well, you look different. Which and you're on holiday. Exactly. Okay. The compliments, that's what you want. So this year at the Oscars, I used my coconut water. So this is such a natural looking tan. I so you, love this it's product. so easy to use, it sprays like a professional tan. So you are the professional at home. But the great thing about it is you spray it on, it dries in 45 seconds. You get a glow on the first day, the second day when you layer it up, and oh my god, the colour is amazing. I put it on in Australia, I was testing it, spread it over the top of my SPF because it works over your SPF. And I was literally you nowhere know, to laugh. After four hours, I was checking myself out in the mirror every five minutes. <laughs> So, talking about some more of your products then, because let's face it, these days there are quite a lot of tanning products out in the market, so I think one of the biggest things for me is convenience tanning and yes. having a product that works into your sort of everyday routine. So yeah, so lifestyle tanning is huge, like a product that you can take on a flight, you can put in your handbag, you can put in your man bag. Um, I've got a lot of clients that love my products because they can just travel with them and do it anywhere. Um, I was on a flight recently and there was like a really good looking steward. And I was like thinking to myself, oh my god, you know, I'm um, slightly pale here. So I have my H2O, so I ran into the bath in the mist, water, rose water, sprayed it on my face. Two hours later, he was, he was doing drinks, and I was like, I kept him going, yeah, I'll have um, any peanuts. <laughs> anyway, the great thing is I look glowing, I've got confidence, and tanning gives you confidence. But I've got a client in her 80s, Mrs. Terry, be watching, darling, lovely, because she loves it. She's in her 80s, she's still trying to find a man, but she uses my new rose water. So these are H2O tan drops. They consist of rose water, hyaluronic acid, aloe vera water, vitamin E. So it adds extra hydration to your foundation, your uh, BB creams, your favourite moisturiser, your SPF, but also giving you a tan. So you do two drops for a glow. Mrs. Terry uses three drops. So you do two drops for a glow, 
you do two to three for a medium tan and three to four for a darker tan. If you want to go do it every day, do one drop a day. But the great thing is, you'll never get block pores, you won't sort of self tan, but it works with your moisturiser, it doesn't overpower your moisturiser, and it doesn't compromise your moisturiser. This is easy tanning, made easy with my H2O tan drops. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna talk about my absolute favourite product now, because it's got coconuts in, the smell is amazing. Oh, we love coconut. <laughs> Tell me a little bit more. I feel like a, a bit like I want a bit of a dance when I think of coconut. Like you know, like you kind of imagine you're in Miami, you've got like the, you're kind of shaking them in the air, you're kind of drinking, <laughs> Them, you're rubbing them on your skin, you're putting them on your hair. If I had hair, I'd be rubbing it on my hair. You can cook with it, you can clean with it, you can do anything. It's good for everything, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. But also, you can tan with it now as well, which is good. Okay, so tell me. So, this is my coconut dry oil. So, this is amazing. So, it's translucent. So, the concept of this is that when you pour it into your pump it into your hand or put it on the top of it, it comes out like a coconut water because it's that light in texture, but when you put it on the skin, it turns into a coconut dry oil. So because it's super light, so it's gonna dry in less than 45, 60 seconds, but also you get a really nice tan in four hours, doesn't transfer onto the clothes, but you still have that kind of really nice finish. So you put it on in the morning, do the legs, do the arms, you've got a hot day, you're going to a barbecue, you then put it on, and then four or five hours you get this really nice tan that comes through but then you've got that really nice beautiful luxe finish on the skin but it's not oily you're not going to feel like you're sticking to everything it's, like a sheen, yeah, it's a sheen okay. but it's a finish it's a skin finish with that added extra being a natural looking tan that lasts for seven to eight days fades like a real tan will fade because of the coconut as well it's super hydrating on the skin so it's great for people with dry skin for kind of skin problems this is the product for you it's super easy super natural and once she uses the once, you'll be obsessed. Trust me. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. It's amazing. Right, so I want the gossip from you now. Who is your favourite celebrity that you've ever had? So, favourite celebrity, I could probably say all of them. I've worked with um, amazing That's celebrities in, yeah, in 17 years. Um, probably Rosie Hunt from Whitey because she's a good friend and I've worked with her over the last 12 years. And she's gorgeous. And she's beautiful. And Lady Gaga, who I love. Um, so to me, um, I kind of started that whole trend for the natural looking tan, all that glow. Um, and also, you don't have to be a celebrity to look great. Um, anyone can tan now. Tanning is for everyone. Any ages. Um, I did an event the other night and actually it was amazing. I had loads of ladies in their 70s that was just obsessed with the products. And it was nice. I found it really like kind of touching because I just, I like, I like seeing everyone tan, which is good. That's what tanning is about, isn't it? It's about giving yourself confidence. Confidence, like, looking good, really feeling tan. good. And I would never go out if I didn't have a self tan on. So to me, I'm like, oh, I've got to tan, I've got to tan. It's a Thursday night, it's a Friday night. Tanning Thursday. Yeah. Tanning Thursday is the best day of the week. <laughs>
So you're better gently building up as well rather than just getting loads of product on your mitt. Yeah, less is more. Or loads of collapse. Yeah, just build up in layers. It's the same as um, if you over apply yourself down like, over like days and days and days, the tan becomes too um, patchy and build up. You want your tan to fade after like four or five days naturally and then you really like. Um, if you use a wash off tan, you want an instant fix because that's good because it washes straight off. But it will like even out a, a kind of patchy tan as well. You, do, you won't have a patchy tan for drain three, but if you do, um, use a wash off tan to even it out. So tan every sort of four to five days and then can you just hop in between, go for a wash off one. Rather than just off. layering on more and yeah, more. Yeah, do a wash off because it even out the tan you've got and it will give you that kind of period where your tan fades to when you reapply. So it's good, so it's like a good little balance in between. To be glowing or It's a little like two day tan holiday. Like you're having a bit of a two days without yourself tan. It's like going to the gym, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. People go to the gym and then they a have a rest detox. day, you need a rest day for your Or use well. a steamer, go to a steamer at your gym um, and literally sit in there for 20 minutes, come out, rub your skin with the towel, all the self tan will come off and then your skin's ready to tan again. Ready to go again. Okay, so have you got any more tanning tips for us? We could be talking for hours here. I think I could write a book. Oh, <laughs> Maybe I should write a book, um, be on sale in a couple of months. Um, yeah, great tanning tip for the face is um, when you tan the face, always drink with a straw straight after so you don't get the white on it. That's a great, I never yeah. thought of that actually. And also, a good little trick is as well, um, if it's raining, always make sure that you cover, wear trousers to cover the legs because you don't need kind of droplets because it will affect the tan. Mm. A good trick um, for the hairline as well, after you put the tan on your face, rub some moisturizer into the hairline if I have hair, a bit like in those days. Um, rub it into the hairline so it stops you getting the tan line. Um, so just, it can look like you put yeah. on bare foundation. And you don't want that. Well, um, tan, yeah. Good trick, if you've tanned the hands, you've washed them too soon, and then you've got that awful look which is the brown arm, white hand look, which is kind of a dead giveaway for self tan. Get like use my H2O um, rose water or a bronzing mist or something and just mist quite lightly mist the, the hands. It will then blend in. That's so it kind of a, it will then make the tan look more more even and more natural because um, there's nothing worse with white hands and you've got a brown arm. I'm kind of like if I I, I literally I, that I would I don't know what I'd do if I ever tanned a celebrity and I saw that I'd be like oh my god hiding I'd grab a pillow I'd hide I wouldn't come out. Close the curtains, I'll be like, I'd sit there and eat popcorn all day. Okay, so I'm gonna ask a question for all the single women out there who live on their own, like me. Tanning your back, how do you do it? So tanning the back is one of those things that everyone always asks. Mm -hmm. So great trick is a mini paint roller, would you believe it? A mini paint roller? It does work. So you put you know the tray. Put the mousse in the tray. Um I use my whole fruit from the mousse for the ply the bed. Get a mini paint roller and then rub it over the, um, the mousse and then you can just do it back. <laughs> Imagine the name for some. Imagine someone looking through the window and seeing that. Or get a wooden spoon, put a tanning mitt on, tanning mitt on, wrap an elastic band around, and then you've got your own little back applicator. You can take that with on. you as well if you're in a hotel. You can take that, exactly. I mean, people would question why you've got a wooden spoon in your suitcase, but anyway. But, do you know, once it's quite funny, I was doing a show, um, like a TV show in America, and I had like the, the model's clothes in my, my bag, in my suitcase. Anyway, we got stopped at customs. He was like, oh, we need to just check your bag. I was like, fine. So he's undoing my suitcase, and as he undoes it, there's heels, there's dresses in there. He's like, um, are these yours? Um, no, 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 they're for a model. But I was like, as he was open, I was thinking, God, don't find them dresses and them heels. I was like, oh, shock horror. And the paint roller. The paint roller. <laughs> the paint roller. There was a paint roller, there was a wooden spoon. He must have thought, what the hell is this person? What's he doing? <laughs> I think another problem that a lot of people have as well is, especially if they shave their legs and then tanned, you get blocked paws and yeah, you get yeah. on the face as well. So is there a way to stop that? So with the face, get an ice cube, rub it over the face first before you tan, pat dry with tissue and then you're ready to tan. So that closes the pores on your face. With the legs, get a packet of frozen peas out of the fridge. Freezer, not the fridge. Out the freezer, rub them on the legs. This will seal your pores and it will stop you getting them kind of the dots, brown dots on the legs, it's perfect. James, it's been an absolute pleasure talking Thank to you. Thank you so today. much for having me. Thank you guys for watching. Um, love Cloud 10 Beauty. I'm obsessive. I'm already thinking now, what can I go online and buy? <laughs> and if you want to see more videos like this, give us the thumbs up below.
I'm, I want to be like Cher, you know, if I've got no lines at all, I'm like, I do a good Cher impression actually. Woo! Cher, <laughs> hello, Cher sure, here. Yeah. You want your hair and your makeup to be, and your dress to be the kind of the fo vocal, what's the vocal? Start again. Vocal skin. I always get patchy tan on my ankles, on my wrists. I just said on my ankles and on my wrists. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like the J.K. Rowling of the tanning belt. <laughs> like, hopefully I won't make like 20 billion like her or something like that. It kind of like, you know, I would have turned up like 50 people like an entourage with like millions of cars outside. Oh, he's arrived. Um, no, I'm joking. That's um, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, 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 so, <laughs> turned up on my own with a coffee in my hand. As the Spice Girl would say, to become one. <laughs> Have some love like I never knew love before When you love this baby, baby My H2 tan drops are the best thing for the face <laughs> What's a really good tan for a wedding? If you really want to have a loaded I'm getting married tomorrow I mean... No, I'm joking <laughs>